Okay, so I'd like to take the Laplace transform of the whole ordinary differential equation, and that's what I have set up right here. But let's first remember that the ordinary differential equation was 3y double prime plus 27y is equal to um, u t minus 5 times the cosine of 3t minus 15, subject to the initial condition y of 0 is equal to 2, and then y prime of 0 is equal to negative 1. All right, that's what we need to know to be able to perform this Laplace transform. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the left-hand side of the differential equation, and I'm going to apply a Laplace transform to it. What this really means is that I've multiplied the whole equation through by e to the negative st and then integrated from 0 to infinity in the t variable. We never write that because it's cumbersome, so that's what we have this curly L, this Laplace transform notation to represent, is, is performing that algebraic and calculus maneuver to this equation. But since the integral is linear with respect to its argument, this just means that I take the Laplace transform of 3y double prime plus the Laplace transform of 27y. All right, but that's equal to, well, if the Laplace transform is an integral, then that 3 doesn't care about Laplace transform or the integral, so it factors out front of the Laplace transform. Then I take the Laplace transform of y double prime, and then I have 27 times the Laplace transform of y. But what is this equal to? Well, this is equal to 3 times the Laplace transform of y double prime. What am I going to do? I'm going to go into our Laplace transform table, and I'm going to grab table entry number 2, which tells us that the Laplace transform of y double prime is s squared times capital Y of s minus s times y of 0 minus y prime of 0. And then I add to this 27 times, well, this Laplace transform of y of s, or of little y, is what we mean when we have capital Y, so that's the Laplace transform of little y, but we don't want to have to keep writing those curly braces all the time, so we just write capital Y of s. So what is that equal to? Well, now let's check it out. What things do we know? We know that y of 0 is equal to 2, so that means this y of 0 here is equal to 2. We also know that y prime of 0 is equal to 1, or sorry, negative 1. So this y prime of 0 is equal to negative 1. And so what I'll do is I'll group up all the terms that have capital Y of S, and then I will have the initial conditions laying about. And we need to remember that the 3 multiplies the second derivative. So that 3 multiplies this negative 1 times a 2. So what that means is that for the y of 0 initial condition, I pick up a negative um, 6s. And then for the y prime, I pick up a negative times a negative gives me a positive. So then I pick up a positive 3. What resides inside this parentheses quantity right here is um, a 3s squared from the second derivative and then 27 from the no derivatives. And so that is the Laplace transform of the left-hand side.